Hi everyone, here's an overview of the brand new version of our Focal 2020 software. When you start up the software, you'll see the home screen. From here, you can jump to camera tools, file tools, or review your previous results history. First, let's take a look at the camera features. With a supported camera connected to your computer via USB, you just click the connect button. A few seconds later, you can see it's connected and can look at details about the camera and lens. You can click learn more to find out more about what each tool does and how to use it along with links to the online help. The target setup utility checks your camera, lens and environment to make sure everything is right for the test you're about to run. First, Foco takes a shot and checks the lighting, position, camera and lens settings, battery level and more. When the check is complete, you see a live video feed from the camera to help you adjust the position if necessary. Once you've adjusted, you can hit the refresh button to check again. You can easily work through any issues raised by the target setup tool and then be confident you're ready for testing. With target setup complete, we can start to use the camera tools. Calibration check is a new tool in Focal 2020. It automatically determines whether your focus system needs calibrating and works completely automatically with no user interaction on every camera that Focal supports. You hit the start button, Focal takes control of the camera, takes a set of measurements and presents the results as the test runs. Focal tests offer the essential results in the summary tab. This test shows the calibration state at the top left on the colored bar, a single chart to show the measurements taken and a pair of crop images showing the area analyzed. The details tab gives you lots more information if you're interested, a selection of charts, crops of different points and details of any selected measurement. The classic calibration test is what Focal has been doing since 2011. Pick this test from the camera page or use the menu at the top, hit the start button and watch the results come in. Some cameras don't require any user assistance. Some need a setting changed occasionally during the test, but using the voice prompts and camera hotkey makes this very easy. When the test is finished, the before and after images are shown you can slide between them like all crops in the software and review the chart data before deciding to accept or reject the value. Again, the details page gives you lots more information. Multitest is another of our new tools for Focal 2020. This one measures pretty much everything in one test. By analysing a whole set of parameters across the focus and aperture range, a complete picture of your camera and lens performance can be shown. On the summary page, you can see a two-dimensional plot of the quality of the image across a range of focus adjustment values and the aperture range. The dark points forming a curve across this chart show that this particular lens exhibits quite a bit of focus shift. This is where the focus point changes as you adjust the aperture. In the details panel, there's a whole selection of charts to look at. Focus versus aperture charts, aperture sharpness view that indicates calibrated, uncalibrated and manual focus performance, autofocus error, astigmatism and spectral metrics, and lens vignetting. All this information is obtained from this one single test. The aperture sharpness test measures this sharpness across the full aperture range of your lens while the lens is wide open. Focus controls and zoomed live view in target setup let you set perfect focus. Then when you run the test, it will capture the profile of your lens. In the details section, you can see comparison with other users, as well as information about lens aberrations and vignetting. The focus consistency test analyzes the performance of your autofocus system when repeating the same operation to determine how consistently it performs. Focus consistency has been improved in Focal 2020. You can now control which autofocus system the camera will use and how it will defocus the lens between shots. Here's a quick look at some other features of Focal 2020. The file mode feature allows you to analyze a set of files captured manually without any camera tethered to the computer. Focal has internal camera definitions for lots of cameras, not just the ones that can be controlled by Focal, and this means with file mode, 
you can see more information from your files. History lets you review old tests to see how your equipment performance has changed. You can reload any tests you've run since Focal 2 was released back in 2014. There are lots of other improvements to the user interface and operation of Focal with this new 2020 release. We hope you found this brief overview useful to show how the new Focal 2020 works and what it can do. We're always keen to hear feedback. Let us know what you think either in the comments section of this video or through the support link at rikanfocal.com. Thanks for watching.